I just think the leopard on the left did not know that the one on the right was trailing it. And now there's a bit of a there's 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 a bit of a of a stir up. Ladybug, yes, a spot jackpot. I am a tad wary because if it's two males and he's got to be careful. If it's something like Tavangumi, won't be too friendly. And whoever it is on the left was just looking at the cat on the right, like mm -mm, I didn't like that. Why are you looking at me? Type of thing. But I don't know if he's gone down. The one on the left has gone down, or if it's just moved away, or if it's still there. Okay, now you're rolling on your back, so you're clearly not concerned about whoever it is there. So very likely this is a leopard you know. Or you don't think that this is going to end up in aggression. Shreya, you think that the other leopard is Klalamba. I mean, there is a there is a good chance. I mean, I'd be surprised because then she's still that much bigger than him. But I've never seen the two of them together, so this is interesting. So maybe she came back to the kill and then she found that this was happening, but as soon as he- oh, still there. As soon as he rolled on his stomach, then you know that there's very little aggression intended uh, in between the two of them. I'm just gonna park here. Because a leopard generally only rolls uh, in a playful manner like that when they don't feel particularly threatened. If this other leopard that is just now looking at him had, you know, really bad ill intentions, let's put it that way then I think his attitude would be different. Also, I do think that whoever this is on the left, you know, I think we can all agree that Marives is the one on the right, that this leopard knows it. Yeah, he, um, he is being submissive, but there's also a playfulness side of it. So he is keeping low, but generally, when they are being more submissive like this, they won't expose their stomach like that unless the other leopard is on top of it. At least I haven't seen them be submissive this way. So he is still very curious. He's definitely not gone full on aggression. He's not trying to dominate over Tlalamba or the other leopard. But um, the fact that he rolled like that, there is submission, but not full on proper submission. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say. I think there was still some sort of playfulness intended. Which is odd. You see, he's very curious. They both know each other is there. There is no doubt about this. They can see each other now. Thankfully, we can see the eyes on the one on the left in infrared. Maybe I want to try. I think maybe if it's Lalamba, she did not enjoy being trailed for that long. So she's now not. What's happening? Please, can you just come into the light and reveal yourself? We just want to know who you are. And also don't hurt Mareeps. Okay. All right, so definite submission happening there. You see, as soon as this other leopard came, there was, of course, growling, but there wasn't, it went on, it didn't go into a full-on aggression type of thing. It was just to teach him a lesson. There was no swatting, there was no hurting. And Marib says, okay, okay. I'll take that back, that now this has escalated, but you see Marib's is keeping very low on the ground, very low on the ground, keeping on his back and then just to a point defending himself, just making sure that he doesn't get sweated or anything, but he hasn't gotten up and gone for the full-on aggression, such as this leopard, who to me now, this looks like Marib's walking towards us. What is happening? Then who's that? Was that Lalamba? Do we have this wrong all along? I know there's a random hyena just walking by. <laughs> okay, hyena, not right now. <laughs> I actually think that what we witness now is now even more interesting. Because I think now this is Marib's. And I think Lalamba's the one that was trailing Marib's. And he got upset. I just wish I could see their faces better. 
This is fascinating. As far as, as leopard goes, this is pretty incredible. So I think wh whoever we saw had been lying down in the grass for a little bit longer. The first one when we said, were, or when I said, I was like, oh, there are some eyes there. Maybe that wasn't Marib's and there. It was this leopard that was trailing behind, which I'm keen to say that is Lalamba just far away. I mean, can you just... Yeah, you are Marib's. The one closer to us. And you, who are you? Are you Lalamba? It would make sense if this was Mr. Lumbach because the one on the right was smaller. So I just... This is pretty ridiculous though. I mean, we headed the wrong way around entirely. And I wonder how long they've actually been staring at each other. Or how long the one's been staring at Marie's in the tree. I mean, the cats have certainly pulled out all of the stuffs for us today. Let me just... Linda, I agree. I mean, whatever we saw now, it, the, the aggression wasn't too terrible. So it is interesting because at first I thought maybe Marib's was going to be taught a lesson by Tlalamba, but it seems like we've had it wrong the other way around. So it seems like Marib's was walking away and maybe Tlalamba has been eyeing him on his kill, on her kill the whole afternoon or who knows for how long. And then she was trailing him behind because one of them is certainly smaller. So Marib's on the left and then whoever it is on the right. And as soon as the other leopard sort of felt itself being trailed, then the one went submissive. But there wasn't a lot of sweating, which was I was saying it was, it was more show, more for show than actually, than actual aggression. I mean, if leopards want to hurt each other, they will. They will, you know, um, claw each other, bite each other, go at each other's um, throats and backs and necks and so on. So this is actually very fascinating because this is not the way that I thought things would go. I would I assumed that Lalamba would pull rank in age, but I suppose she, she, if it is her, she is smaller than Marib's, even though I didn't think Marib's was good, that big of a male leopard yet. Freya, I agree with you. I think it's, it's fascinating. So let me try to unpack this because what we've just seen, it's actually really fascinating and it's not at all the way I thought things would be. I haven't spent that much time with Marib's lately and I didn't think he would be at this level in terms of his confidence as a male leopard. But I suppose this also comes in handy, what we just saw, this show and this growling, because this is the way he's going to have to act whenever he wants to become a dominant male. So of course, because it's a female and he can know that it's a female, um, or he would have known that it was a female, the aggression didn't escalate to crazy levels. Potentially also he's met Lalamba in the past, so he's aware of her. But what was interesting was that she was trailing him. So why would a female leopard start trailing a male like that? So it could be that maybe she's coming into heat because she was also like the way that she sort of went on her side before the aggression started. Like I said, I still maintain that it was more on a playful type of thing. There wasn't, there wasn't aggression there. There wasn't too much submission. It was just almost like, oh, hi, how you doing? And of course, then when they had that stare off, You've got a, you're, you've got a, if you're a young male leopard, I suppose that your bark has got to be much bigger than your bite to try and make sure that no other leopards come across you or try to hurt you. So it's been, it's actually been really fascinating to watch this whole interaction between the two of them because I didn't think we would be at that stage in Marib's development. I thought he would still sort of be a little bit younger, you know, like the charismatic, sort of almost like goofball that he is. And then he wouldn't show this to Tlalamba, who's older, more mature female. But I think the tables are turning and I think this we've just witnessed and we can confirm that he's at a completely stage in his life where now he's gonna, he's gonna mean business. I mean, I don't know how many interactions like this we would have seen of him with another leopard, but this is, or especially another female, but this is fascinating. I'm not going to move for now because he knows we're here, he can see us, even though I have no idea where he is right now. He could be, okay, well, he's right next to the vehicle. So we're just going to let him go by and I want to see what Lalamba does and which way she goes, see if she's going to continue trailing him. 
What if she's just gonna go, uh, yep. You see she's gone and she's sniffing where he was sitting. I think just trying to figure out what is happening and who he was and, and so on. This, I mean, I don't think we could have asked for a better ending to the Women's Day Safari Drive. This, I have actually no words. I'm not even gonna pretend. <laughs> this, this is epic. Also, thank you for showing up, Lalamba, and for giving, you know, they can say a lot of things about women and females, but we can certainly make an entrance and a closing, can't we? <laughs> well done, girl. You did all of us very proud. Okay, we're gonna wait for her to walk past us, and then I'm gonna turn the car around, see if maybe the two of them are gonna go back to the kill. Oh yeah, she did it for the girls. Where did he go? Did he go back to your kill? I'm actually genuinely surprised that she... Oh yeah, there are the eyes. I'm genuinely surprised she acted that way. And she went that submissive to a young male leopard. But when we saw them walking away, because the one at the back was that much smaller than the one walking in the front, I assumed that that was Marib's. But very interesting to report that he seems already that much bigger than her. To the point that I thought that she was a younger one. This you know, the plot thickens. This is fascinating. I suppose this is why we keep coming back for more, isn't it? Because just as soon as you think maybe you have an idea of what's going on, the universe is like, ha ha, take that. I will show you. What is happening? Are you guys going to have another spat? Looks very mean, just the two eyes <laughs> in the darkness like that. Is that a leopard? Are we sure that's a leopard and not a hyena? Can't tell from the... No, I think those are spots there. Sorry, sometimes I just need my color vision to be able to distinguish things. What a drive today. I don't think we could have asked for a better drive. I mean, everything's just been happening and it'll be, I mean, I, yeah, I have no words. What a Wednesday. What a great way to celebrate Women's Day and celebrate all things. And of course, leave it to a female leopard just to make an entrance at the end of the show. Lalambo, I think she timed this perfectly. So it's, it's actually been wonderful and I can't wait to be back. I mean, the bar is set very high now for the next stint, I think. So if I could request just, you know, the galore that we've had, that would be amazing. But again, thank you everyone that joined us today. And hopefully we will see you guys again tomorrow. Who knows what will actually be happening. Maybe all of the cats will be out and about again. And it'll be the boys narrating tomorrow because Steve and James are back tomorrow. But thank you very much everyone and see you guys next time.